Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make grilled potatoes. Hey, Chef Kate here. Summer is in full force and nothing is worse than turning on your oven and heating up your home. So let's turn on our grill and let me show you how to make some grilled potatoes. First off, I want to show you how to make a delicious garlic herb potato and then stick around to the end and I'll show you two more delicious variations. To start, preheat your grill to medium high. And then we're gonna grab two pounds of potatoes. Potato, potato. You decide what kind of potato you like, but I love the Yukon Gold and the red potatoes. Make sure your potatoes are nice and clean and let's cut them up. Depending on the size of your potato is how many times you're gonna cut it, but your goal is bite-sized pieces, like this. For larger potatoes, there's a lot of fun ways you can cut these. You can cube them up or you can do little coin slices. I've got my red and yellow potatoes cut up and they're going into a bowl. To our cubed potatoes, we're gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil. I know olive oil isn't for everyone, it's my preference, but you find what works for you, whether it be avocado oil or peanut oil. And then add in one tablespoon of lemon juice, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of thyme. And lastly, one teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of oregano. Then give it a really good stir to make sure everything gets coated well. Now, potatoes love salt and fat, kind of like me, and this blend of seasonings is amazing. It's gonna knock your socks off. Our potatoes are nice and coated, and now we need to get them on the grill, so we're gonna be using some nice, heavy-duty tinfoil. Now, I know aluminum foil isn't for everyone. If you've got a grill pan that you wanna use, use that. But for today's video, I am using four sheets of heavy-duty foil. And then onto each of your potato sheets, add in about one-fourth of that potato mixture. The reason we're using four sheets is so that we can keep these potatoes in a single layer versus a heaping pile. The potatoes are gonna cook a lot more evenly that way. That way you can get that crispy goodness on the bottom throughout all your potatoes. Now that we've got our potatoes divided four ways onto our foil, we're gonna seal them up. So go ahead and fold that foil over and crimp that edge. Make sure you fold those ends up nice and tight as well so none of those juices are leaking out. Our packets are all sealed up. Now let's get them on the grill. Most grills have hot spots, so every five minutes or so, rotate those packets so that they can cook evenly. Once they're finished cooking, which will be about 20 minutes, carefully take them off the grill. Now we're gonna let them sit for about five minutes to let them cool so that we don't get burned. Carefully open up those packets because they are going to be hot for sure. We're gonna check for tenderness by simply poking our fork into our potato and if it goes in nice and smooth, that's a perfectly cooked potato. So like I said before, not all grills are created equal. Some are a little hotter and some are a little cooler. If your potatoes aren't quite tender, throw them back on the grill for another five minutes. Once those potatoes are cooked to how you like it, go ahead and top them with some cheese or sour cream and chives, however you want to, and you are ready to eat. But wait, I promised some more. To make lemon pepper grilled potatoes, you're gonna start with six tablespoons of melted butter. Add to that butter one tablespoon of minced garlic and the zest from one lemon. Two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper. Give it a good stir. Then combine that butter with, once again, two pounds of cubed up potatoes. And stir it up until all those potatoes are coated. Divide those potatoes into four, just like before. Then seal it up and pop it into your grill for 20 minutes. For the pesto potato, you're gonna want one cup of prepared pesto onto those two pounds of cubed potatoes. And if you want the best tasting pesto recipe ever, Make sure you check it out on the stayathomechef.com website. Separate your potatoes into four packets once again and cook those potatoes for 20 minutes on your grill. Once these two variations are done cooking, they're amazing as is, but topped with Parmesan cheese, they're so good. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.